All right, guys. Uh, welcome back to the Jenna and Julian podcast. We should have brought high five Rob first. High, high five. High five other. Rob. This is our special guest of the each week. Other. This is yeah. Rob Dyke. Rob Dyke. Um, Yo. Rob is our good friend, and he is also a very, very talented uh, YouTuber, if you want to call it that. He creates amazing videos uh, on his channel. It's the Rob Dyke, right? Yeah. 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 You, you do, but you do a whole bunch of shit. We'll get all into your stuff. We'll get all up in your stuff. All up in your stuff. Uh, that's happened twice today. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what happens. Uh, but we're so happy to have Rob here. Uh, it's fucking great mm. when we have, like, our good friends able to join us yeah. on the podcast, especially when they don't live here, uh, which is great. It's uh, cute. It is cute. You're cute. Thank you. This podcast is brought to you by me, Andy. Here we go. Uh, that's, <laughs> uh, that's why we have underwear I on our table. I feel threatened. <laughs> We don't just normally have underwear on our table. We do it for the, the MeUndies because MeUndies is some of the most comfortable mm-hmm. underwear you can buy. It's the most comfortable mm-hmm. on the market. We wear it all the time. Me undies. It. It's made we of something. We didn't wear it. Don't worry. It's made of something. We like twice, to keep them show perfect. Ooh, that's twice nice. as soft as cotton. Mm. And it is, I'm telling you, it keeps you cool. It stays in place. Me Undies is where you can get your pair. Check it out and go to MeUndies.com slash Jenna Julian for 20% off your first purchase. We will get into that later. More. We'll talk about underwear more later. Mm. Hashtag get me undies. Get me undies. <laughs> that's oh, not that's, a thing. It should be. That's good. Wait, did they hire you? Because they should. I'm a plant. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this relationship's over plant. after this. Thank you for using uh, our panties, though. Yes. Um, all right. Well, I guess, well, Rob's in town. You're in town for VidCon. Yes. Uh, which just ended this last weekend. Mm-hmm. And you live in Massachusetts. Mm. Uh, and we met... Mm-hmm. Uh, playlist. <laughs> Two yes. playlists ago, yes. right? Yes, yes, we did. Uh, it was playlist Tri State. Tri State. We met you there, represent. and yeah, represent. Mm. And we uh, we were immediately like in love with you. We call we call Rob Dad. Dad. Because he's Dad. It's the beard, isn't it? Welcome yeah, and the hugs. Dad. You give Dad hugs. Yeah, but we're like really the same age. Hugs. Oh, okay. Aren't we? Are we like the same age? How old are you? Twenty eight. I'm twenty seven. I'm twenty eight yeah, in October. Yeah. So, so it's, it's really a little weird dad. for me to call him dad, nah. but still sometimes I can it's, still it's, call it's dad. possible. It's possible. But I can if, still call you dad, though. If, so. like, like in relationships occur, um, mm-hmm. it's completely possible. Is oh, yeah. Or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, could be, you could be her, her dad. Yeah, like yeah. If, dad. like if your mom marries someone that's, like, 12 and mm. you're, like, 30. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, my mom did. Then that would be... <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Um, okay, so just a quick, I guess, intro. Uh, Rob makes videos on YouTube, but you do a, a kind of a variety of different videos. You have a series called Seriously Strange. Seriously Strange. Uh, you have a series called Why Would You Put That on the Internet? Mm-hmm. And uh, before I get to why, why Would You Put That on the Internet, which I love, I was watching some Seriously Strange today, and uh, that shit's fucking dark. Yeah, it And is. I like it. <laughs> and there's a thing about that show, which I, I'm going to call it a show because the way you produce it and you have that team put it together, it's not a it's YouTube a show. video. It's yeah, a that's show. What, that's yeah, what I, that's what I went for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can I do that the whole time? Uh, yeah. Sure, yeah. No, I'm not going to yeah. do that. Um, he's going to punch you if you do that. Because he'll come alive and he'll just come out here. That's and all right with me. Too. I've been eyeballing him all day. Yeah, he's creepy. Yeah, you're he creepy, is a dude. Creepy. Anyway, I uh, like creepy though. Right, that's kind of you the do, point. and that, that's strange. what. But the, what you what, what's amazing is you have developed this giant audience on the internet watching your videos, uh, and they aren't they're not just lists of things. You go into detail of of why you would pick something like this to be in that episode. Yeah, uh, and it's like you 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 have this presence about you where you're incredibly. You can't like look away because you're just like so interested and you you're hosting it well, but at the same time you're not fucking around. Like this isn't some joke. You know what I mean? Like you right. host it seriously, but you have a charm about that. What made you want to start doing videos that were about things like in, in seriously strange? Is he hitting on me? <laughs> yes. Okay. We, I, wanna, I thought we already established. I just want to make sure. Under we established that. Um, That's beautiful. Yeah, it's going to be good, hands. especially once the camera's off. <laughs> um, what I did, I realized that... I'll play Elder Scrolls while that happens. Sorry, keep going. No, you, you're going to have to do... You're, you're the audio person for that. <laughs> so, I mean, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. We don't have to talk about it now. Um, I, uh, I figure people are multifaceted. A lot of people like comedy, like horror. And I um, my background was in criminal justice. Um, I studied serial killers and criminal behavior and everything like that for a while. And um, 
I was known by my professor, who was the former colonel of the state police of Massachusetts, as uh, his serial killer expert. So if he ever had a like, question about serial killers, he would ask me, and uh, because I just dove into them so much, um, and I love them. It's is. really fucking awesome. Like I'm not, I'm, I haven't gone so far down the rabbit hole of serial killers, but I mm. love like fucking Dateline or like anything that has to do with murders. Mm -hmm. And it gets a little sketchy in your own brain sometimes when you're like, why do I like this so much? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did yeah. you ever Every, have everyone... a moment like that where you're like, why do I like this so much? <laughs> yeah, it happened when I was very young and I murdered my first <laughs> prostitute. Yeah. Uh, why did I like she that so it. much? Uh, why it. at four years oh, old? Oh, man, Loved I found it. my hobby. How did I even get the prostitute? <laughs> but uh, then I went on to be a uh, private investigator for a short amount of time, which was, and a bodyguard, which was really cool, yeah, uh, like, but also so boring. Sick. Yeah, you did. Also uh, boring, but. I you mean, did different types of details, right? You were. Yeah, I did like, um, for instance, one job. Obviously, I can never mention names ever in my life, yeah, but that's how um, it works, yeah. was a woman coming out of witness protection, which she wasn't supposed to do because her son was getting married. Um, <clears throat> the uh, a certain motorcycle club uh, decided to blow up her house, Ooh. so. Um, she, ever since went into that, she came out for her son's wedding. We had to provide uh, executive protection. That's what we called it for that. Uh, that was one thing. I didn't do too much of that. A lot of it was just, um, you know, tracking down cheating spouses, um, uh, people uh, for workman's comp. They're, you know, screwing yeah. the system. Yeah, yeah. And then um, some car chases, which were weird. There was one guy who was wanted by the FBI, and nobody could tail him because he, like, picked up on it. And I ended up, they sent, it, they sent me out to do it, which is stupid because I was not experienced at all. You were and, driving uh, the car and chasing someone? I was, I was following him. Sometimes you have to blow lights to make sure you can, like, keep up with them. Um, like, you, they don't know you're chasing, so it's not like this crazy thing, right. but you are. You don't, you don't them, want, right, you've got to follow them. So them know, yeah. they went through a light, it's turning red, doesn't matter, get through the light, because otherwise you're going to lose them. Right. And this guy, all of a sudden, he's driving down and he, he takes a right. And I take a right, and I'm keeping back from him. And all of a sudden, he takes another right, and I take another right. And he takes another right, and then another right, uh -oh. and then another right. And I realize, holy shit, I've been following this guy for like 20 minutes, and we're going around his neighborhood, and he knows I'm behind him. And then all of a sudden, I had to bail because he knew. And so that that um That's so that kind of background, insane, yeah. I had the comedy. I was always like funny. Um, a lot of people meet me, and they are surprised that I'm not like a serial killer but um <laughs> whatever i kind of you don't I know wasn't that surprised. you don't know shit about me <laughs> just and, don't um, kill us yeah and, and we don't care right i'm not going to <laughs> i find that like, <clears throat> very interesting uh not not only that you uh have such a passion and kind of interest in the dark things that you talk about the you know serial killers stuff like that but the fact that you are able to have such a variation in the content you make mm -hmm. you have a complete dark side and then you have a complete fucking hilarious side that's very internet-y and you uh you turn it on like you're funny and and why would you put that on the internet that's some really funny shit like you know there's there's it's a not lot hard of, when you know you're well but that's the thing there's a lot of there's a lot of shows a mirror or something <laughs> There's a lot of shows that take <laughs> things and you're basically left to react to them to right, make right. the content, and you do a good job of that. Do you do you feel like like you have to turn it on, what you know when you're doing the funny shit, and then you're not, you know? Um, I I don't have to turn on anything. Um, luckily, not yet. I mean, there have been things that I've had to do where you have to turn on a certain aspect of yourself. Right. But uh, when it comes to comedy, I I never I have like a, a small handful of times in a hundred why would you put that on the internet episodes almost ninety eight wow, yeah yeah uh, big one hundred yeah. well, coming once a yeah. hundred yeah. comes it's it's done yeah he's ending it at a hundred it's done I didn't I'm know done. that yeah. really it's yeah. done I hate it mm. I, it's too crude it doesn't keep up with everything else that's so. really admirable We're, of you I want to talk about that in a sec I wanted to die yeah, yeah, okay. I yeah. to die you know and I appreciate that and I thought and it comes at a risk but whatever you get it I went into this business not to work for anybody else I worked. For myself, right, yeah. and uh, I make my decisions, and yeah. so that's what I'm doing. But um, the comedy aspect, I never scripted an episode. Of Why would you put that on the internet? Yeah. Um, I just, I just type out the submission so I know what I'm reading, right. yeah. and then I just went off on each. And I tried to do it where I would see the submission, read it, and then immediately save it and don't think about it, and yeah. try to get that genuine reaction yeah. for the, like the first time. Absolutely, yeah. And that's what I would do with that. Seriously, strange. I've just every now and then you're just in this mood where it just clicks on. You don't have to like really switch anything, and 
I'm just ready to go with it and yeah, it's cool. I I don't know. It's yeah. not it's not it's not tough to do. It's not tough. It's cool. Natural. I don't know about all that. <laughs> well, no, I mean I mean in the grand scheme it is, but in terms of like acting or being dark being, yeah, and yeah, yeah. knowing. I mean, once you hear about oh this girl was kidnapped and they found her arms and then her legs and then her head 6 months later. It's you, like you it almost really, like just yeah. switches you for exactly, you. Exactly, yeah. You know. Do you find there's you like a different leg. Audi- Oh, that was on purpose. Do you find that there's a, <laughs> you have different audiences watching the, the different videos? Like, you know, because obviously you're mm. familiar with your audience, but do different sections of them watch only one of the videos? Yeah, a lot of them um, are one or the other. Yeah. A lot of them are both, but um, plenty of people are, well, would you put that on the internet, diehard fans. Mm. And, uh, and I don't blame them. It's fine. But, uh, you know, they're like, we're going to unsubscribe once it's over. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I won't end it till the new show's out. Yeah. So you have to give it a chance. Mm-hmm. That's, I mean, like like Jenna was just saying, that's a big power move, and it's awesome that you've decided to make that step in in realizing, you know, hey, I think, and whatever you think goes because it's your shit, but I think, yeah, a hundred episodes is is time, right. and you're gonna end something that's doing well, which is something that a lot of people can't do and they're scared to do, right? You know, and, and it's really cool, and I feel like. It's, you know, to bring an analogy in, it's like when you watch, we're big fans of MMA. Mm-hmm. Um, and when we watch fighters that we've watched for years and we love them, they 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 very rarely retire on their own terms. Yeah. They, they, a lot of the time, will fight and fight and fight until, you know, people are giving them subliminal messages like, hey, hang it up, you know. And it's so hard to see that. I hate right. that. But it's so hard for them to put it down early because mm-hmm. they love that and they that's their bread and butter, similar right. to... Why would you put that on the internet in some ways? Yeah, I'm trying to think of people that have stopped, like, series on YouTube before. Because I know Ray William Johnson had stopped doing Equals 3. Right. Oh, it still kind happened. Of, yeah. It still lived. Half, yeah. different yeah. hosts. Yeah. But at least, you know, when he announced that, that was sort of a big deal for the internet when people are like, oh, shit, like, people might stop making content for us because they don't want to anymore. Yeah, and, it's like it's a possibility. Right, yeah. obviously you'll get backlash and people will be upset, but at the end of the day, like, you know, you need to make you happy, and right. that's why I was like, that's really fucking, like, that's a big deal. Yeah. That's a fucking, like, you're standing up for yourself. Yeah. You're like, cool, this pays my bills, and, you know, it's great, and I'm glad you guys like it, but I don't want to do it anymore, right. so and fuck that's, it. That's the end of it. Right. And, uh, I've never had any problem and I, and I established that early. I didn't cater. And right. uh, I have no problem telling people every now and then, if they just keep running their mouths, to just be like, sit down and shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> or go away. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And, and I, I have no problem with that. If people go, you know, uns- I, I'm, I, you know I'm unsubscribing. There's a difference between constructive criticism, mm-hmm. which I think is important to take, because you have a you have an audience right. of a lot of people, yeah. and a lot of them are telling you really good shit. Right. And how much do companies pay to test like so much control money. like groups of people yeah. right. to get what their product, how their product will do on the market, and you get that for free. Right. You Instantly. just upload, Instantly. and they tell you. Instantly. And you, right like, away. if you're an actor, you don't get that kind of feedback. No, like, you no. might get a review or something, but like, you're not constantly yeah. like being told on a regular basis how good you're doing right now all the right. time. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? But it's, it's very it's important. Invaluable. You're right. Absolutely, and it's important to distinguish the hate comments that are just pure trolling and, right. and the con- the constructive criticism right. because it's helpful. yes, it's hard to see criticism, but you're absolutely right listening to your viewers is huge yeah it's huge because yeah. they 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 want something amazing and i think a lot of people do yeah. and um you know they're like geez oh man it's so close only if it had this and i've taken fan suggestions mm-hmm. before yeah um if i see a suggestion that pops up like a number of times like i'll like heavily consider doing it right. because it's i feel just like, like you're the same way you get yeah. a number of what same idea well, you're yeah, like, okay finally i'll fucking do it and then i'm yeah. gonna be like all right I fucking made this for you yeah except i made it not what you wanted <laughs> but at least i made it yeah and at least i listened blow me subscribe you recently hit a million well not recently kind of like a couple months ago that's yeah, awesome. about that about a couple months ago what are you like a million two now a million three <laughs> sorry is that less if you can make a whole video of that you'll, like, <laughs> you'll do so well I'm I I am right now approaching 1.8. Oh fuck, fuck me. That's awesome, dude. That's yeah, really right. cool. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, yeah. One point eight because you hit one million in what February? Uh, or was it earlier? Um, it might have been. I think I hit I I hit one million on the flight here for the first time, and I want to say 
That was either February or March. Yeah, right? that's I'm, so cool. That's yeah. so sick, dude. That's growth right there. That's yeah. awesome. Really. Cool. Yeah, it was cool. I, yeah. I every time I come here for some reason, like, like I get a boost and <laughs> yeah. I don't even do anything. Just but I just, it just happens. Yeah. It's just, just like flying. okay, I was in LA, so yeah. I can expect something to happen, yeah. and it's cool. I think I hit something like some number like that when I was driving to LA. I mm. think it happens for a yeah. lot of people. You're yeah. like on my way there for the first time ever, and you're like, oh, yeah. something cool just happened. Like, damn it, I didn't get to do the get thing that, that everyone does and just refresh the page. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, you didn't get the screenshot. Wake up. No. Yeah, yeah. I was already like a thousand over by the time the plane landed. I'm like. Uh, uh, fuck you, thousand. Unsub yeah. now. No, I want to see. Screenshot yeah. for you. Did anybody take a screenshot for you? No, because because how it up, uh, up you know updates on the yeah. fans end. It's just yeah. like it updates in these huge yeah. chunks. There's like live counters you can find, but yeah, that's yeah. that's frustrating. And you never know. Yeah, exactly. And which channel is that that just hit 1.8 or is it? Right that's right? my main channel, just yeah. Rob Dyke. Yeah. Um, so yeah. you put both series of videos on that channel. Yeah, yeah which isn't it. suggested, but which, it yeah. works. Yeah. It okay. worked. Yeah. I well, combined my passion for comedy and dark criminal, you know, shit. Yeah. And said I'm gonna do both. And a lot of people said don't. And I said Fuck you. Too bad. <laughs> I'm doing I do what I want. Be it very simple. Well, yeah. You guys have a lot of common, honestly. Yeah. It's really but you cool. You don't just like wing it. You you have like sets. Oh, that you, you have, have a team, you. you have sets. I mean it's professional as fuck. Like it's not a joke. I yeah. try to I I think that was hugely important for me was making making a set if it's a different show, um, you know, I, I, I feel, and, it, and it's a show, and, and the same set works for a lot of people because it's not like a show that they're doing. But if right. you're talking about, you know, joking around about someone who takes pictures of, you know, weed in their nose or some shit like that, and then you cross over into a baby being thrown out of a plane, which both are hilarious. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you've got you've to really have a different look for that. Right. And, I, and that was something I was always huge on, like, Put something behind you, and everyone who asked for like advice, like what should I do, said if you're gonna do a show, do a set, make a set, yeah, and uh, just put like shows and now. Effort into it, yeah, yeah. right. It really and makes a lot of difference. My first, why would you put that on the internet set? Cost me eleven dollars. Really? Altogether, uh, my seriously strange Teach set us right how. now. Teach us through ways it, of eleven dollars set making. Really? Amazon. Because we're we're rocking the sound foam set. Yeah. Right now right, it's functional, but it looks like sound foam. Yeah. So. It looks like it. It definitely. Well, definitely. Yeah, it is it. it, it is that, that's it. actual sound foam. So, so, how many sets you have? You have three sets. Two uh yes. Three? I have a, well, you I, have three shows. I have three. I have wanted to put that on the internet. So no, Twisted like, Tens is part of Seriously Twisted Strange. Twisted Tens is getting its own, but um, Got it. I have Seriously Strange has its own, and then I have um, Serial Killer Files, which I made one part of the room look like this old like noir like detective awesome. private investigator kind of like set which you so have take, personal taken, experience yeah, in you've taken yeah. over your whole life like yeah. your whole house um it's, it's actually dedication. it's my old bedroom in my parents house yes. so i just i like pay them rent just to help them out and stuff like that because uh you know if you can you help people out that's right uh yeah. that's a rule <laughs> if you're able to help you you help yes, um, family. Yes, especially family. family especially family yeah. especially 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 if they helped you get to where you needed mm -hmm. to be yeah which they did so my old bedroom i just said hey <clears> i'm gonna do this and back then i was like making barely any money any any success at all and i'm just like just hold on i swear it'll yeah. you know yeah. like 11 dollars was like a tenth of what i made you yeah. know and it was like sometimes it was just like just hold on and it'll get better and it does yeah and well, some people awesome. don't get that stuff yeah. it's some it's, people are just like i got a comment recently um aren't you late for your shift at you know burger king or something like it's just like do you really think like youtube you can make money off of youtube YouTube can be a job. You can. It can be. It is true. If you work hard enough. And it's not too late. A lot of people think it's too late. And I've thought it's too late before. Sometimes, you know, with all the changes YouTube is, it's so hard. It, it's harder now. It yeah, used to be, right. put someone yeah, in the sub box yeah. and forget it. You're yeah. off. Yeah. That doesn't do jack anymore. But yeah. um, I've seen enough people have a lot of success even now. They grow really fast. Actually, it's yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I thought I was late. I thought I was too late to start a YouTube channel. I definitely channel. thought I was too late. I had that thought go through my yeah. mind before I started. And yours video. does, like, I've noticed that, like, your vlogs definitely pay off. Because yeah. it's just, like, you get really good views. Yeah, and I mean. It's just like, this, it's, this vlog sucks and it did really well. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, your vlogs are, like, actually <laughs> fun to fucking watch. Because the jump cuts happen, like. Well, yeah. It resets my damn mind. Well, like, I think. Resets my damn <laughs> Really quick, can we talk about it? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Um, I was going to make a transition saying, speaking of your bedroom. You're going to have the transition speaking surgery? Of your bedroom. Oh. So 90% of your life, you're wearing underwear. 
not really fucking sure what the other 10% is about. <laughs> but oh, wait that's a minute. the stat oh, that showering. Oh. Yeah. Or just Wait a minute. 10% of your life is spent showering? Do you showering, think that's a Showering, showering, uh, Fucking, maybe Three swimming. Three percent of your life are naked lunges. Getting born. Oh. Naked lunges. Getting born. Uh, anyway, getting you're wearing born. underwear all the time. It's worth Born-ing. having a good pair. These <laughs> these underwear, uh, me and these, they make quality shit. Uh, and you will never ever like be able to go back because it, the, it's just soft. It keeps you cool, and the elastic doesn't it's rip. Really I mean, soft. I've, so many times I feel like I've looked up like what's the best kind of underwear I could buy. I'll spend a little more, and then it rips. And I'm like, fuck you. You know what I mean? Uh, but Your we, underwear rips all the time. It does, and these haven't ripped, and I've worn them for months. I know. I've I can tell them. every time you're wearing your MeUndies because they look like this. They yeah. look all exciting. They have electric uh, designs. They have really cool stuff. Uh, check it out at MeUndies.com. You'll get 20% off if you go to MeUndies.com slash Jenna Julian. Uh, that's MeUndies.com slash Jenna Julian. And also, say you buy it, and you're like, fuck, this sucks. You just return it, and they'll mm-hmm. refund you 100%. Uh, so there's no harm done. Check it out. MeUndies.com. Thank you, MeUndies. Thank you, MeUndies, for sponsoring you us. You want to put your your MeUndies on your penis and or yes. vagina. Oh, yes. Mm. But it uh, doesn't matter because uh, gender is the social construct. So gender it doesn't matter what construct. you are. You can you put, put it. that in your video. <laughs> Speak, yeah, yeah. No, anyways, I was about to say. Yeah, we're talking about how my blog's sucked, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I, no, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. No, I was about to say yes. What both of you guys do make it seem really easy to be successful on YouTube because clearly what you make just appears as like a vlog. And then most people don't realize until they pick up a camera and try and start vlogging, like how many shots you have, Mm -hmm. like how much time you put into just editing the music or making it seem like a coherent day or like any sort of the the time lapses that you put in it. You know what I mean? That's a lot of fucking work every single day. And people don't realize it until they start to try. They just sort of watch it and they're like, this looks lungs weak or whatever yeah. but i mean you put a lot more work into it than people know yeah as yeah. is rob you you build yourself an entire set you have your material set every single week you do all of your stuff it's a lot harder than people think until they actually try and do it and there's i don't like when people say things like oh you just got lucky or they try and chalk up what you do to particular things that make no sense yeah it's hard work across the board and mm-hmm. no i don't think that anybody really gets lucky do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Even like little fuck boys. Well, They're posting all day, every day. Exactly. Even you know if you I mean? do get lucky once, you either capitalize it or you don't. Right? Or, you yeah, know? you know, how many people have gone like viral and where are they? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Because exactly. they didn't capitalize exactly. on, it, uh, on it properly. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. Well, I was so, I was a viral yeah. video. Yeah. Right, right. Although I think now viral is very different. Like you can be viral on Vine. You can be viral on oh, YouTube. Yeah. You can be yeah. a viral yeah. fucking you're, you're right, though. It can be different. Article. Now, yeah. It's different because we're not all, all of our eyes aren't pointed in the same direction anymore. Yeah. They're kind of all over the place. Yeah. But I was, you know, a viral video and I was told by Which so many no people. Which there's no reason not to admit that, by the way. Yeah, no. For I'm, people who are products of our videos, why would you ever say I'm not a product of our videos? If you are, you right. are. It's in the, the the proof is in the pudding. You right. either are, or you're not. You made I a couldn't. really, 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 really like fire video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> awesome. It took like, the internet fucking uh, apart. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it could have just like disappeared, which was always which an happens, option. Yeah. But um, I was told by a lot of people that I should be like selling more things or just trying to like ride the wave. Yeah. And I was sort of scoffed at when people are like, oh, what do you mean you want to just keep doing that? I'm like, no, nah, this seems like a more logical path. Yeah. You know, people want, when they say capitalize, they want you to bank like now. You know? Right. Like, Cash right. in. Yeah. Make right. the merch. Yeah. Go out. And then just fizzle out. Right. And that and so many people do that. Right. They, they and go that's out. not your plan and that's not your plan. No. Yeah. And that's not my plan. I think that, that you've done a really good job doing that. Yeah. Both of you. Well, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of talent at this table. Like what are we gonna do after this? <laughs> I just <laughs> I think we're gonna probably just sit and compliment one another one another. Yeah. And uh Except like, with alcohol involved maybe and yeah. yeah, and then it then I'm it hungry. just yeah, the compliments start turning into like passive aggressiveness because like, <laughs> then we're all just angry. fight <laughs> and then just start fighting and then i storm uh, out and yeah oh man that well really fun. yeah um and, and I, I know you you said you're working on a new show to come yes. in place of why would you put that in it is there anything that you can say about that can right now any without spoilers? any spoil any <clears throat> sneak peeks i it's gonna will be starring rob dyke it will be i will be in it <laughs> so um so I haven't publicly, except I mentioned it like once on Twitter. I definitely haven't mentioned it online, like in a video at all. But you don't yeah. have to. Oh you no! Just... I would love to. Oh, is this is this breaking right I now? I would love oh, to do it fuck. here. Fuck you guys! Fucking I listen wish I had in the right hand now. Warm right <laughs> 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 and just complete do just it over me talking so no one. Gets <laughs> 
no one hears anything. The new show is... DJ Khaled. So it's going to be called Social Autopsy, and it's kind of a fusion between Seriously Strange and Why Would You Put That on the Internet. Um, I'm actually designing, going to be designing a new set, which is going to... You got yeah. it! Sorry, sorry. sorry. You got okay, it. Time I had out that's, that's a really good name. Keep going. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so what I do is I take all the social shit that's going around all the time, and I talk about that. So it's kind of talking about stupidity, but maybe stupidity people aren't aware of. I'm going to take like the social issues, people are like, yeah, definitely, that's a good thing. Mm. Yeah. And I'm going to explain why it's not, right. or what cost it comes uh, of. So you're basically um, debunk all the people who think they know everything. Right, yeah, things. a little bit. That's awesome. It's a yeah. more intelligent format okay. for this show. Slay. Mm. Um, I'm actually designing another set, which is going to be tough with moving, but I'll make it happen somehow. Why um, are you moving? Uh, I'm moving here. <gasps> what? I'm moving I, here. I, I, I told you. Did you? Was I drunk when you told me that? Uh, you no. might have been. Uh, no? Was it at VidCon? Because I was drunk. Yeah, I told you right before VidCon, which basically is like not telling you at all. Because oh that's, like, that's that's yeah. preparing to drink. Yeah, no, that's I, just as bad. I like jumped around. Oh, I, I, he so texted me that. No. Yeah. yeah, I'm moving out here. Yeah. Kitty? Kitty coming? I'm going to cry. I'm so happy right now. I didn't know that. You guys holding on to this secret? I oh, my God. I told you. That's not my fault, even. You, oh. Listen, you told her. You know what, mate? You told her. Sometimes, you know, I'm, like, gluing on eyelashes onto my face, and I'm really not listening you to You know, anything. and I think the fact that Big comes, like, tomorrow, you're like, I can't even hear what you're saying. Yeah. So, um, so you're good. Sorry. You're moving sets. That, that'll be kind of like... Yeah, yeah. That Are you going to try be... and physically move all the stuff with you? Like, um, set? Are you going to build a new one? I'm probably gonna... just going to build new things and, yeah. and change it up, because that's kind of what I like to do. Yeah. And I have a total excuse to do that but I'm going to try to reconstruct like a morgue setting um, I'm gonna like I want a gurney I want like a chalkboard that I can like go like ham on so yes. when I'm like doing everything and just going crazy and, it's gonna be you know. awesome I think it'll be good hopefully I mean I can I know how good it is is really up to me and how I listen to the audience and how receptive they are because I do need their help yeah. and I think that any creator who does that is on a road to success as long as they do it right well, I think that your show, whatever you do, first of all, you're a better host than most of the hosts on television oh, that are doing please, that. They're please. corny. It's they're terrible. Different, it's a, yeah, Rob you're in does a what Rob wants, league. and no one on TV can ever mimic that because they're in a box, and Rob's done. He's completely on his own. He's doing whatever he right. wants. Right, and I think that what you just said like speaks volumes, though. Like it's only as good as I make it, and yeah. I'm gonna make it really fucking good. Yeah. So that's really exciting. and that's all. That's like it's a scary thing, but it's also the most motivating thing ever. Like right. I have complete control of how well this does, right. just by how much I put. Yeah. And and yeah. a lot, that's the thing I've been asked that a lot, and I think I think everyone has. If you're on YouTube, you've been asked, um, did you think it was going to work? And I think anybody can have a like doubts every now and then, but mm. I shoved that shit right out of my head any time that came up, and I said, this is up to me, mm -hmm. um, and there's no other option. It will happen, and that's it, and that's mm. the bottom line. Mm. That's and if, crazy. And if this doesn't work, I will just do something else. It, I'm. Uh, it's like the Michael Scott Paper Company. Absolutely. You can shut if you down, shut down Michael Scott Paper Company, back. we're going to go build another Michael Scott Paper right. Company. Um, I have unlimited amount of names. Sorry. Yeah. Michael. Uh, <laughs> that's one of them. <laughs> that's one. Oh, he's finishing my office quotes. You need to stay. <laughs> period. No one ever understands my office references. Oh, my God. I love the office. Um, oh, my God. I, I just like hearing you talk right now that like that last bit what you were talking about if it doesn't work I gotta move that's how successful people think and that's how they act and it's uh, and it's just very 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 like take fucking note because people who do things whatever they do and they are successful at them sometimes they are very talented but sometimes they have the mindset and this drive and the way they act and the way they are constructed and how they conduct themselves when it comes to work, mm -hmm. they can never fail, no matter what. Right. Everything can come crashing down on them, and they will come through it and succeed no, ma no matter what. And Rob, just, you know, the way he explains that, it's just, it's very, he like embodies that attitude, which is awesome. And it's it's no coincidence that you are doing well and your channel is doing well and people and watch it. And you have complete Basically contrasting content on one channel and people still <laughs> subscribe. Like, yeah. you have polarizing shit. Like, funny and then really dark and people subscribe anyway. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. It's really cool. Yeah. I appreciate it. I, have, <laughs> I, I, I don't take compliments very well. 
I. <laughs> No, it's, it's like, I, 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 I mean no, to be putting you on the spot. No, 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 it doesn't mean I just trying, doesn't mean like, I'm just trying to like, identify that mindset because <laughs> no, I no, really, no. really appreciate that mindset. I think it's important that people get it too and and I like just like ignore my awkwardness, but uh I like I've never <laughs> handled them awkward. well. I come from a time in my life where um compliments were sometimes deceptive on purpose to strengthen me. So I don't really, uh, and I don't think your compliments are. I just that's how oh, I like them everyone all gets the a time. trophy kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, and and it's um, and I I know I have so much work to do and everything, and like I know and I appreciate so much you feel that way, but um, I just you know never let compliments like distract you too much. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And yeah. I think that's how people end up buying into their own hype. They have so many people <clears throat> telling them like, dude. Holy shit! Like you're the next, you know, Hendrix, you know, and all of a sudden yeah. the motherfucker thinks uh, that they don't have to play guitar as hard anymore. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. And Absolutely, and you're right. Have you seen the movie Whiplash yet? I don't know. Did you talk about uh, that last time to us? I think. Um, I that. I don't know. Possibly, but I mean, anyone who has seen it, I think, probably knows where I'm going with it. But um, you, we sh- you got to watch that. Yeah. Uh, it's a good movie, but yeah, I, sure. I won't spoil it. But it's about, uh, you could tell by the trailer that it's about a teacher who's considered abusive. He's a music teacher Mm. um, to this one, to all of his students, but especially to a new kid who's a drummer coming into their jazz um, uh, orchestra. And uh, he ends up getting to this point and things, you know, I mean, he's over the top. And he ends up uh, sitting with the kid later. And um, the kid goes, and he just goes, you know, I'm trying to, like, inspire and create the next legendary person. And he says that there's no two words deadlier in the English language other than good job. Because so many people hear good job, and they just stop trying as hard. Mm. And, um, And the kid asks him, well, don't you think there's a line? Don't you think you might discourage the next big person the next legend and he goes no because the next legend would never be discouraged by yeah. anything yeah. and i think that's what you have to take into this and if you want to be successful you need to understand that shit's gonna hit the fan people are gonna tell you to kill yourself get the fuck over it yeah don't um kill it's yourself. the internet don't do it you know <laughs> uh don't do that but come on i mean it's the internet. They don't have to face you face to face. It's cowardice anyway. Right. Um, you know, as soon as you start listening and taking, it's uh, like Game of Thrones. Right. The, uh, you know, the lion doesn't concern himself with the opinion of the sheep. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's really what it is. No, yeah. I feel Not like that you might be sheep, able to but. take some compliments, like some things. Some things are valuable to hear. Yeah. Oh, I absolutely. feel like, at least for me or for other people that maybe like sometimes like I like when my mom tells me a good job <laughs> I get really excited about yeah, it yeah. Right. Um, it's to never be satisfied with yourself mm-hmm. I think yeah. helps me you know what I mean right. like if, if people are going to say oh this is great or whatever like, I'm never truly satisfied with what I'm doing and it makes you want to keep doing more do you know what I mean right yeah it should compliment should be like a guy. A you know you're on the right track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You can do it. Right. But just don't some, let it sometimes you just are bomb rob the whole time. I I just <laughs> like just don't let it you know, like no, yeah, no, keep the, keep don't let it diminish down. you. Don't no, let it yeah, don't absolutely. let it water you down. Absolutely. You know, because we we've seen That is what it would do. That. It would water you down. Yeah. Yeah. We've it seen enough of that. It takes your potency and turns you right into crystal light. Yeah, but the good thing about Rob is like crystal light. Mm, delicious. Thank you so much. You said crystal light. You said crystal light. <laughs> I asked her to say that. <laughs> I was like, listen, uh, this first, like time, first time we met. I was like, hey Jenna, uh, nice to meet you. By the way, if we ever end up doing a podcast at any point, could you just mention crystal light somewhere? She's like, who the fuck are you? It's like that. How that drunk game. are you, Jenna, asshole? Jenna, get out, of, guy, get out of the girls' bathroom. That yeah. game where we play, where you try and just as inconspicuously as possible and as many times as possible weave Guy Fieri into the conversation yeah. without anyone oh, noticing. Oh, How about that, Guy Fieri that. with uh, with dark hair and... Um... I haven't seen it. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> can, can we look Is that, that up? Is seriously yeah, strange? Because uh, it should be. Yeah, uh, Guy Fieri um, without the blonde hair. Without the like completely white blonde hair. I'm going to rock your world. And he's going to see it first. Have you seen it yet? No, I have not. He's going to see it first. I'm going to see it I'm first. I'm sure you guys will probably pop up first. a picture because it's horrifying. And I'm then you're going to... And his reaction is going to tell you everything you need to know. I'm well, this is seriously strange talk. Oh! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see. Okay, blow oh it my up. God. Blow it up. Make it see. big. Make it big. Make it big. Oh my God. That's horrifying. Oh, my phone just restarted. No, no. Oh, look it up on my phone. This podcast okay. brought to you what by What do my I look up? Phone. Just Guy Fieri with dark hair? Black hair. Oh, my God. That's horrifying. <laughs> I can't even believe what I just saw. That's not him. I know. It's bad. It's awful. 
I want, well, now I gotta see. <gasps> this is. <laughs> he her, looks. What? He looks like a meatball. Yeah. That's, yeah. Oh my yeah. god. He looks like somebody's Italian oh, uncle. Oh, he looks. Oh uh, fuck. Oh uh, god. He looks like Paul Blart. No wonder he Mall dyes cop. his fucking hair in spice. Two. Which. Which. Let's not. Uh, Let's not. He does not wear me on these. I'll tell you that. He much. doesn't fuck, and he, he does not. That guy does not. He fuck. does not even vape. No. Um, Rob, even thanks vape so much for joining us on this podcast. Well, thank you for having me. Absolutely. I appreciate yeah. it so much. Uh, this is this is awesome. Yeah, I feel like uh, you know people are gonna get a good kick podcast out of this. Podcast is the coolest. We just they are we cool. Podcast. We'll let it yeah. fucking. Sure. Do and uh, it and uh, I'm gonna link all of Rob's stuff below. His channel, his yes. his stuff. Uh, go and check him out. Seriously, give it a try. Uh, if you hate it, fuck it. Don't don't watch it again. But it's worth giving no, a try. Watch it anyway. All of his stuff. Uh, <laughs> You'll like it. There's he has, people he has like a me wide, that like it. A wide variety of things that you can be entertained by on his channel, and his uh, Twitter is also very fun to follow. So we'll link all that below. <laughs> oh God. Um, <laughs> if you yeah yeah if you, if you dare follow <laughs> at your own risk. Uh, thank you, Meandies, for sponsoring the podcast. Yeah, thank you, Meandies. Twenty percent off, guys. Meundies.com slash Jenna Julian. That's M E undies dot com slash Jenna Julian. That's like an employee discount. Yeah, that's nice. Put and in it could be free Rob if you hate it. So. And you don't get fucking anything. <laughs> but they might send you an email and ask you what, what was wrong and with And you could possibly be added to like the NSA watch list. Who knows? Like You know, I bet if you put Rob, you send him an email, I bet you they'll give you the twenty percent anyway. Oh, you know what? Let's put that to the test. Actually, no. Put Jenna Julian so you can guarantee yourself 20% off. Yeah, and it. then put Rob and get another 20. And then put Rob too and get another. T- <laughs> and buy all their MeUndies and then sell them yourself and do and call it you undies. Ro- Rob secretly founded MeUndies and he just didn't tell us. Uh, yeah, dude, thanks me again. MeUndies, oh, old undies. Good. Thanks again for coming on the podcast. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. you for having me. I love this. this hold on. Oh, one last time. Okay. One last time. Right. Get in. That's a really that good. That one that's was like kind really of filthy. Good. Thanks. No, it's good. It's like, it's like it's like a skill. I all I can do is like inhale it and choke on yeah, it. Yeah, well, everyone's got to be good at something, right? <laughs> I'm really good at that. <laughs> See you guys next week for another podcast. Yeah. Bye, friends. See you later.